What if the solution to our energy problem resided in every community everywhere? What if renewable energy could be generated in every city, day or night, no wind required? What if a city sewage treatment plant was able to produce over half a million gallons of clean, non-polluting biofuel every year? Well, it may be a reality, and sooner than you think. After five years of research and two U.S. patents, Dr. James Smoot and Zach McMurray realized they were onto a big idea that could change the way we produce energy on a global scale. The idea is to make a novel liquid biofuel from the waste produced daily at sewage treatment plants. You see, normally after treatment plants finish cleaning up our sewage, they have a bunch of solid waste left over called biosolids. Usually, they end up taking these biosolids to the landfill, incinerate them, or in some cases, use them for cover in agricultural projects. But this all costs money. That's where our fuel idea comes in. We use these waste biosolids, which were destined for the dump, as the source of our fuel's energy. So, how exactly does that work? Long story short, city water pipes send our sewage through a piping system all the way to one of our 16,000 local sewage treatment plants across the U.S. Here, sewage is treated and processed to remove solid waste and eventually separate into treated water and biosolids. Our process starts with the fermentation of these biosolids which are then fed to a native bacteria to make natural plastic called PHA. Renewable ethanol reacts with PHA to give us our final biofuel product which we call EEB. Our process is renewable and energy efficient. From our research, we found that EEB can be mixed up to 20% with gasoline or diesel. Most gasoline engines only run on ethanol at 10% blend without modifications and ethanol doesn't mix at all with diesel. In addition to lowering our carbon footprint of gasoline or diesel, our biofuel can serve as an oxygenate for diesel, just like ethanol does for gasoline. That means semis running with our biofuel would have a lot less sooty exhaust coming out of their tailpipes. In addition to biosolids, EEB can be made from other waste materials such as rice straw, corn stover, and distiller's grains. Suddenly, these tiny bacteria can start making a huge difference. One of the problems with gas and diesel is their ever-rising and unpredictable price. We realized EEB could be a huge game changer after we modeled our process at the commercial scale and found that we could make EEB for less than $4 a gallon. One of the best parts of renewable fuels is its source material is not depleted by use, so there's much less volatility in price. EEB is scientifically valid and works well in a laboratory vehicle. Now we need to prove this idea in the real world. This is exactly what we aim to do with the $200,000 that we will raise through this project. The money will be used to build a large working prototype of the biofuel production line. A vehicle, based in Seattle, Washington, will spend one year running with EEB-infused diesel. Seeing that EEB can perform literally where the rubber meets the road will demonstrate the potential of this amazing new biofuel. Producing EEB in our local communities would stimulate the economy for creating jobs in every corner of the country. Each country would produce a reliable source of clean, renewable energy using resources found right at home. With a sustainable fuel technology in every community, in every country, we can achieve energy independence and help our global climate. Please, no matter how big or small your contribution, you can help us make all of this possible and take control of your energy future.